And Jean, those investigators are really commending the bravery of the survivors in this case. They came forward with details of those alleged crimes back in 2017. Police started investigating in June of that year after the school administrators came forward with those concerns. They told police they had learned of that sexual abuse taking place on their campus in the 1970s. Authorities from Concord then traveled to Virginia to further investigate. They say Baker was a student who graduated in 1974 and began abusing two children of a worker from that school and would then visit after graduating and perpetrate those crimes again. He was arrested this morning in Virginia, charged as a felony fugitive from justice. He faces 12 counts related to sexual assault here in New Hampshire. It's a very serious crime uh, and uh, we're fortunate in this case that we had uh, the statute of limitations had not run out because Mr. Baker had left state um, and we were able to pursue this and uh, with the cooperation of the victims and witnesses, we've been able to put a case together and Mr. Baker can now answer for his charges and the acts that he committed here in New Hampshire. Now, Baker will be arraigned in Virginia tomorrow. Con Concord police here say they will then begin work on getting him here to answer to the charges that he faces. Meantime, we did receive a statement from the school. They say they will continue to assist investigators in this case. Live in Concord, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.